So it is now Wednesday. I have basically just been doing tidying up, trying to do like little bits of stuff every day, getting ready for Saturday for the big Halloween party, hoping to decorate tomorrow. But now I have my sewing machine out and now I gotta sew my costume. I shouldn't really have left it this late in case I screw it up. So I'm gonna do the major stuff tonight. Tomorrow I have to go into town anyways to pick up some stuff for Jesse's costume. So if I screw this up royally, I'll just have to be something else. Hopefully that doesn't happen. So first things first, starting off easy because I haven't sewed since my last Halloween costume. I'm making a part that attached to the belt a strap that goes down this way. So I just got this like pleather fabric, just a little strip of it because I don't need very much. I'm just gonna sew that and make it look like a strap and hopefully it all goes well. I had a bit of trouble threading the bobbin because it's been a while. I actually got it like first try, but it just didn't look right to me. I thought it was supposed to be a little bit more complicated. It's not. So let's, let's do some sewing. It is now Thursday and I am now in town. I completely forgot my camera, so I'm filming on my phone, but I'm just about to head into Spirit Halloween, uh, the pop-up Halloween store that, you know, is all over the place this time of year. And normally I go in a gazillion times during the Halloween season, but I haven't been in at all this year because we weren't gonna have a Halloween party, so. I'm about to go in there. It's always very interesting and entertaining in there. And I just thought I'd see what they have, if they have any like cheap decorations or anything that I want to add. So yeah, let's get in there. It's always a good time. I'm now back from town and I need to start decorating. But first, I did pick up just a couple more decorations. I kind of tend to get just a couple things every year to add. First thing, just this giant spider. The only time I buy and approve of spiders, but I never get it that looks super real. Anyways, he's big and he's very flexible and you can get it. I'm in all sorts of positions, so I usually put like cobwebs down the railing, so I figured he would look good on that. I got him at Lowe's. And then I got another one at Spear Halloween. This guy's a little smaller, but still quite large, so figured I would also maybe put him there. Or in my boat, because I covered in cobwebs too. Then I got just a pumpkin light for my pumpkin, but it's sort of like it's like a rotating orange red light. So it'll kind of look like a flame. Thought I would get that. Then I just got some freaky fabric. Yeah, it's just like black, sort of like netting, but you can like stretch it out. And I, I have lots of this, but I thought I'd get just a little bit more. And then I got this lighted mantle scarf, but it lights up, it has little spiders on it and then lights up. So it was buy one, get one 50% off. So I just got two of those because I figured I've got lots of tables and areas that I could put them on. So the last thing I got, I had to go to Michael's to get fabric dye for Jesse's costume. And I've seen this, I've seen it a bunch this year. I saw it last year. Well, this time I got it. Yeah, it's like giant monster plant. 
very similar to the one from Little Shop of Horrors and this guy was 50% off. And I figured since I've gone a little plant crazy this year, it'll look perfect with my decor because I usually take down a lot of my stuff when I'm decorating for Halloween, but the plants, you know, they'll stay up. So he'll look good with that. All right, so now I'm gonna get to some decorating because I'll feel better once I have like a lot of decorating done. Right, Conan? Oh, the gunshots are gone. You don't need to be scared no more. Let's get to this. Then I have to work a little bit more on my costume later and then tomorrow morning, bright and early, going to Orange Theory because today is the first day of Hell Week and last year I did Hell Week. I really wanted to do it again this year. So you have to go to five out of the eight classes, then you get a t-shirt. Gonna go to that and then pick up the groceries for the party and yeah, let's get this done. I've got a few decorations. So it is now Friday, almost eight o'clock. About to head into Orange Theory, my first Hell Week workout of the year. And it looks like it's going to be all inclines, which I hate, so this is gonna to be tough. So let's get in there, let's do this. Workout done. I can barely hold this camera up. My arms are so dead. So that was day one for me. It was technically, it was day two of Hell week. So today's theme was split one, which is the class is basically split into two for the one half is on the treadmill and it's all inclines and the second half of the class is all on the floor, all upper body. So I started on the treadmill and it was every minute you up your incline. So you start at 3% and then you end up going all the way to 15% percent and you're you want to try and keep at your base pace the entire time but 
I don't think anyone did because my base pace is running. I was still, I was able to basically maintain like semi jogging all the way up. There was a few active recoveries, but you were still at that incline. You were just walking for a minute. So that was awful, but I did it. And then on the floor, it was four rounds of push exercises and then four rounds of pull exercises. So all upper body, but your reps increased each time. So for instance, for the push, you did four chest press, then five tricep extensions, six push-ups, seven chest press, eight tricep extension, nine push-ups, and then it kept like that for four rounds. So your reps were increasing till you were doing at the end 14 push-ups. Then you went to the poles and the reps increased the same way. My brain is dead, my arms are dead, and I'm going back tomorrow morning. And the theme is split too, so I think it's the same type of class. Who? Oh, hopefully it's not upper body though, because oh my god. Now I've got a bit of running around to do, then back home, then I gotta get to it. Still got lots to do. Get ready for this Halloween party tomorrow. So. I'm now home from Orange Theory and my running around and this place is a disaster. Like I cleaned it some and then it's now just a mess with all my decorating stuff out. So I'm gonna do some tidying and then finish decorating. It's the next task, but before I do that, I thought I'd do a really quick Halloween haul because I did pick up a couple more things while I was in town. So first of all, at Loblaws, they always have some decorations for all the different holidays. And I got more of the skeleton creatures. I have never seen an octopus before and I thought he would look really cool in my boat shelf. And he's a little different in that he actually lights up, which I thought was really neat. And I think he changes colors and everything. And then also at Loblaws, he got another one, fish. He also lights up. We flashes. Neat. Anyway, I thought he would look cool on the boat shelf as well. And then as I was decorating yesterday, I kind of had visions for a couple other things that I had seen at Spirit of Halloween, so I popped back in there and then got more stuff because, you know, it's easy to do in that store. So I got this bat bendable sticks that are sparkly and then have little bats all over them. My vision for this, maybe up on, maybe up there, if not, if it doesn't work there, then maybe at the top of my background that I always create for people to take pictures in front of. So yeah, I didn't even see that yesterday. Another skeleton creature, giant bat. I have little bats and I actually had thought that I already had like a bigger one of these guys, but I didn't. And so I picked up the big one because I just think the bat is probably one of my favorites of the skeleton creatures. Got a second of the giant spiders because I also thought he would look cool at the top of the background that I create for photos. So as I was putting the one guy on the stairs, I kind of thought, ooh, second big one. I could probably get a lot of those because there's lots of different things I could do with them, but only a few things over here. Then I picked up Two of these, they're buy one, get one 50% off. And if you can kind of see here, uh, it's a lawn, lawn stakes to kind of make a little chained fence. I have lots of styrofoam tombstones that I put outside and I just thought that this would be a neat addition. They aren't very long, I honestly could have gotten more to like stretch out the whole thing, but. Just going with two. Hey Conan, oh, are you coming to visit? Are you coming to visit? Cause you're such a good boy. He says you're a good boy. You ready for Halloween? Oh, you just want to see what's in the bag. You in my bag. I picked up more of the freaky fabric because I have lots of places where I've decided I want to put that, so I got more of that. Then I got crime scene tape. I used to have some of this, but just over time and reusing it over and over again, it got destroyed. So last year I threw it out. So I picked up more of that. And lastly, just this looks like barbed wire. 
Uh, I have some of this. I actually would have gotten more, but this was the, the last one. And I have it weaved around um, some stuff on my shelf. And so I found one, so I picked that up. So that is everything I get. Now it's time for me to get cleaning because mess, mess, kitchen is a mess, everything's a mess. So tons to do. Feel like every step I get closer to having stuff decorated, I've created a destruction path and then I just have to clean it up again. Anyway, let's get to this. So it is now just after two and I'm pretty close to being done all my decorating minus a couple things that I do last minute. Like the background is going to cover the patio door so I'll just do that tomorrow because otherwise it's annoying because then we can't use that door. So do that tomorrow and then where the food's going to be I have some decorations set aside for that. But I just quickly wanted to show you one decoration that I do every year, but it's pretty simple to do and it, it's a pretty cool one, I think. Uh, so basically I just have these mason jars and I spray painted the tops black. And then like most Halloween stores, you can get like a little bag of bones and stuff. And so in the jars, I've put bones, like in this one there's skull and feet. Which these feet are not proportionate to the head, but anyways, and then just a random bone. And then we've got like the torso in this one. And then this is just one that's got like a frog skeleton. So I just put those in there. And then I just take some water and put a few tea bags in it to make it look all murky. And then you just fill them up and they actually look pretty cool, especially if you have like some lights in behind them. Let's fill these babies up. Yeah, like how cool does that look? And it's like so, so easy. So then I have this glass cabinet, which I normally display all my old cameras in, but I transform it into like a little crazy lab every Halloween. I'll show you the finished product once it's all done and lit up. So it is now Saturday morning and I'm about to hit up Orange Theory and this will be my second Hell Week workout. But I couldn't get ready to work this morning. I usually like to get a little sneak preview of what the workout's gonna be, but I couldn't, so no idea what's in store. And then it's back home, get ready for this Halloween party. Yesterday we dyed Jesse's clothes for his costume. Oh, I'll just have to do a little bit more of that. Got all my sewing done, just one more thing gotta do on it. So I think we're looking we're looking good. We're in good shape. Just get some food ready, finish decorating, clean, bam, Halloween party. Okay, I'm rambling because I'm procrastinating going in. Okay, let's do this. Day two done. Today was, the theme was split two, so it was a continuation on yesterday's workout, yesterday on the treadmill, it was all inclines all the way up to 15%, and then we were done. Today we started at 15%, all the way down, but it, you were going down, you were decreasing by 2%, your incline each time, and then you would did a run for distance, so once you got to 0.15 miles, and you got off, and you did a dumbbell ground to press and you start with one rep and then they'll increase by two reps every time. So I actually found that treadmill block easier than yesterday's and then the floor was a partner workout so again no rowing which doesn't hurt my feelings. It was full body uh, so for instance well I was doing 30 squats and then 30 
iso squats with a medicine ball raise, 10 reps of those. My partner had a resistance band around her legs and she was walking back and forth and then we switched and then the reps decreased and you do three rounds and then there was three floor blocks of the same variety. The first block was all legs, the second block was all arms, and then the third block was all abs. So still a tougher workout, but I didn't find it quite as hard as yesterday. Anyways, time for me to get home. Lots to do before this Halloween party. So it is now Monday, it's no longer the weekend. I'm now back at work. Sadly, vacations, they're never long enough. I'm going to still continue on the vlog just for Orange Theory for Hell Week for my little report. So I'm about to do my third class and it looks like there's one long rowing block of about 13 and a half minutes of just straight rowing. And then the rest of the class are shorter three and a half minute blocks between treadmill floor, treadmill floor for the rest of the class. That's that. I'm gonna get in there, get ready for this, and then I will report back shortly. I need this workout, by the way, because I did not eat great at the Halloween party. Or yesterday, because it was just all sweets left over, so that's basically all we ate all day. I need this, I need to sweat it out. Let's do this. Third day, hell week, finished. It was a tough one again because I kind of knew it was coming. I picked rower first. I normally do treadmill first, but I did the rower first because I knew it was a 13 and a half minute straight rowing block and I just wanted to get that done and out of the way. It's kind of cool. They're actually tracking everyone's distance that they did and then they're gonna average it out from like the entire studio and then apparently they're gonna compare and it's a, like a little competition between all of the Orange series across the nation. So, and then, yeah, it was just three and a half minute blocks, but back and forth between the floor and the treadmill, basically like a push pace for three minutes, then a 30 second all out, and then a bunch of exercises on the floor, back and forth. So another super hard workout, but got it done, and I only have two more days to go, and then I get my t-shirt. Maybe because I won't have it in my house. You won't have it in your I house. I won't. So if it's a problem, fix it. Be a man and fix it. So it is now Wednesday. My days are all mixed up and I don't have my camera with me today, but I'm about to head into Orange Theory, my day four of Hell Week. My mom's gonna join me today. This will be her first Hell Week class ever. So she's a little nervous, but I know she'll do great. So time to get in there. Let's do this. 
So I am obviously now home from Orange Theory. So I just have one more to go before I get my t-shirt. And that's tomorrow, it's actually the last day actually on Halloween. Today's was still pretty tough, but I didn't find it as tough as some of the other ones. I was looking at yesterday's workout and it looked so hard. I'm so glad that I didn't go to that one. But today's was, if you start on the treadmill, it was a run row and it was basically all outs. You do a 30 second all out and then walking recovery, 30 second all out, walking recovery, and then you'd go to the row and maybe do a 100 meter row, then go back to the treadmills and with your all outs. And then you're kind of doing that back and forth until there was like a two minute row for distance. And then that was like a 10 and a half minute block. And then we switched with the floor and it was basically burpees and then different weighted exercises. So the first round you did five burpees to start, then you do your 15 reps of your other exercises at 10 burpees, then 15 of the other exercises, all the way up to 20. And you're just supposed to see how many rounds you could get to to see how many burpees you could do. And then after that, it was, that was 10 and a half minutes, switched again, sort of the same format with a treadmill rower, and then switched back to the floor. And it was again, burpees same idea just different exercises so lots of burpees last year there was a, there was burpees in almost every hell week day but they have been teasing that there is going to be a day where there's lots of burpees and that was today i believe so excited to see what tomorrow brings it's probably gonna be tough last day i'll report let's show you my t-shirt so it is now Thursday, hopefully you can hear me. I'm in my car and it is raining. It's been raining all day and it is Halloween today. I've got a pumpkin shirt on and crazy leggings and I'm about to go into Orange Theory. It is my fifth Hell Week class. Today's the last class of Hell Week. And so I should be getting my t-shirt once I finish this class. Fingers crossed if all goes as planned. And this is gonna be a little bit of a different workout. I think it's sort of a tornado style, but normally the coaches know the workout ahead of time and this time they don't. They basically know they've got like a basic template, but there's exercises that I think they're getting last minute and like on the treadmill, like the inclines and stuff are all different, but I think they're all 90 second blocks. So I'm gonna be bouncing around a lot like a tornado. I'm gonna get in there and I will report back when I'm done. Yeah. So, I am obviously now home, and obviously the next day, I successfully completed my five Hell Week days at Orange Theory. Yesterday's because it was actually Halloween, and the class I went to was started at six o'clock. There was only three of us in that class, which is the smallest class I've ever been to, but it makes sense because people are either getting their kids ready to go trick-or-treating or they wanna be at their house to give out candy. So it makes sense. Still, it was a really good workout. It was a tornado style, 90 seconds on the treadmill, but it was always a surprise incline. So you kind of picked your speed depending on what the incline was just enough so that you were, you know, pushing yourself to get yourself in the orange zone. And then on the floor, it was always 90 seconds. It was always a surprise what the exercise was gonna be. They showed us nine different exercises that it possibly could be and went over that at the beginning of the class. And then it was six of, out of those nine. And there were a lot of core base. There was mountain climbers, there was pop jacks, there was bicycle crunches, and then after that, you would do 90 seconds on the rower to you know, try and go as far as you could and then try to always at least meet or even do better the next time around you get to that row because there's like six rotations, treadmill six times, floor six times, and rower six times. So it was really good work out. I was like sweating like mad. It was so good. And yeah, didn't get my t-shirt yet because they said that um, I think each studio sort of handles the t-shirts differently. And my studio said that they wanted to wait till Hell Week was over and then they would distribute the t-shirt. So it's coming, excited about it. But so now it is my day off. It is Friday and the power's out. It is crazy windy out. 
I actually lost some of my Halloween decorations that were still outside. So yeah, I'm just working on wood slice ornaments. Luckily I have a bunch wood burned, so I'm just working on painting right now while there's no power because I can't wood burn with no power and there's still no ETN when it's supposed to come back. So I'm hoping that I have power before long. I'm hoping it doesn't stay out like all day. Really missing having a coffee this morning. So yeah, back of these ornaments. Yeah. So that is gonna conclude this weekend vlog, vacation vlog, Orange Theory. Hell week synopsis. It was a great vacation, relaxing, just needed that little break from work. And then like you saw, the power went out, ended up being out for 36 hours. There was a tree down from the windstorm on a power line that was just down our road. So there was only like 40 of us that were affected. So there was major outages all over the place, bigger outages. So we were a very low priority. We survived. We've been out without power for longer. So anyways, that is gonna conclude this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next weekend.